Hey guys and gals in YouTube and TSP land, I wanted to do a quick video today to go with our item of the day write up for you. Um, today's uh, write up is on Lifeguard Aquatics um, bulkheads. And up until now, I've recommended, and I still do for some applications, bulkheads by a company called Banjo. This is a Banjo bulkhead. Um, and they're the best bulkheads on the market as far as I'm concerned. What I like about them is they have a reverse thread. So the way that you would think they go on, they actually come off. And the way you would think they come off, they actually go on. And that's nice if you're having to do anything with the fitting on the top side. Because if you're trying to loosen a fitting, that's always where it binds. And instead of undoing your bulkhead compression, you're actually, if anything, going to tighten it. And since it's coming against the tight, it'll come out for you. Usually these things, as loose as you put them in, when they sit in a system for a while, when you need to take one of these out or do an adjustment or whatever, you end up having to get a pair of pliers on it. They kind of bind up over time from friction. So these are thicker and they're better. So why in the Hisnik would I, rep would I recommend that you go to something like this? Now this is a half inch. This is three quarters, so don't judge them on size. This is just a smaller bulkhead. Well, there's a couple reasons. One, you might want to use half inch bulkheads. And Banjo doesn't make a half inch bulkhead that's priced affordably at all. And they're hard to even find half inches in Banjo. They're pretty much a three quarter and up proposition. So there's that. But I would also say that a three quarter, um, one of these Lifeguard Aquatics is a really good idea too. And here's why. These are eight bucks and up depending on the size of them eight bucks and up this one right now selling today three dollars and 59 cents on amazon so what's worse about it what's better about it why would you consider it well one you know you're talking about saving over four dollars a bulkhead if you're using in a project let's say 10 bulkheads that's 40 bucks that's that's not you know chump change that's significant and and that savings opens up a lot of times in projects where you were like well i probably should use unicells to save the money it's still more expensive than Uniseals, but to me, bulkheads are just more reliable, easier to use, and more forgiving on little tiny mess-ups. And I don't like stuff to drain out, and then all my plants or all my fish or whatever I'm doing dies. I don't like that. So um, I like to use bulkheads. You save some money. What makes these better other than the reverse twist? If you just look at the, the thickness right there on that compression nut and the thickness overall, on the device itself it's a much thicker and it seems to be kind of like a fibered uh plastic kind of like i don't know you'd call it like a plastic alloy or something like that where these are just uh, a straight up food grade plastic now these are and you can see like it looks thick but it's really not because that's just the outside of the flange um these are really made mostly for the aquarium industry uh so they're they're not built to go outside in agricultural situations though I, I don't really see that being a problem i've used them quite a bit uh, i wouldn't use them in like uh for like an ibc system it's going to be a four season system or something like that but in like a, a dutch bucket hydroponic or aquaponic system it's going to be shut down during the winter yeah i would use them there definitely without much concern they do have a, a gasket in them which if you don't have that in a bulkhead it's, it's going to be a problem they spin the standard direction so you do have that issue, but a bulkhead's not something you should be jacking around with a lot. And frankly, I always actually seal my bulkhead. So when you do a bulkhead, you take your compression nut off and your, your, uh, your gasket stays on this side, on the flange side of the bulkhead. And what I always do is I take my compression nut off and then I squirt a little bead of silicone on that. I know you don't have to, but it's, it's, two cents worth of uh, material and uh, a couple moments of extra time. And it just is like that insurance policy that it's going to go. Now, there's another thing that results in a savings here uh, on cost that I, I really like with these. Though, uh, since I didn't know it, I was going crazy trying to figure out how to use these. And I thought y'all would like to know. So generally what you do with a bulkhead, you'll have a, a threaded female on both sides of it. That's what the banjos have. There's threads. I don't know if you can see them, but there's threads in there and there's threads in there. So then you'll need to go to a pipe. You'll need what's called a slip and thread adapter. This side, you know, being the slip. So it just pushes in like a standard PVC fitting and you glue or dry fit depending on your application and your tolerance for leaks. And then you take your slip and thread fitting and it screws into your bulkhead like that. 
and that allows you to actually attach pipes. These, what I think is really nice about them is the bottom side is just a slip. So if we had this as a stand up in a drain system with a small pipe, there you go. What that means is we're not using that little slip and thread fitting. Those things cost about a buck. So that's another buck per setup because you can just on your outside. Now, again, this always needs to be to your inside right here, this side, because this is the one with the compression uh, gasket. This side here is just pulling against the dry side. So you want always your, your top flange that needs to go to your wet side of your system. Uh, but the fact that you can just pop that in there, and I've used this on a lot of the hydro projects I've done lately, and they've worked really fantastically. I learned about them from people doing aquarium projects. And ironically, I would say, you know, if you're doing an aquarium uh, build out, you're looking at maybe, your, at maybe two bulkheads to an aquarium, and you have a lot of money in an aquarium, and so these are made for aquariums, and I would probably go with a higher end uh, fitting with you know uh, a 75 gallon or 150 gallon tank of water in my house because the consequences of failure are higher. Uh, and I guess that's why I have confidence in these because in all of the aquarium forums and stuff like that where I've seen people using them, I've had nobody say, "Hey, this thing broke on me. It cracked. It failed." So I think these for the money are one of the best products out there. They are available in half inch, three quarter. I didn't even check before doing this video to see if they're in, available in any larger. But like what I can tell you is this bulkhead at Tractor Supply down the road for me is $8.79. This bulkhead, and, and they, I can't get a half inch one at Tractor Supply of this thing. This bulkhead is $3.59 and the same size one is like $3.79. So you're looking at around five bucks plus a dollar fitting per bulkhead. And they're on Amazon. They ship free on Prime. So if you want to know more, you can check the write-up on these. But that's really all you need to know. And I always try to bring you the best products for what you're doing. I always try to bring you things that I use. I use these. If I wouldn't use it, I wouldn't recommend it. If you like this sort of thing, subscribe to my channel. Most of my videos are not actually product reviews. They're educational. They don't sell anything at all. And check out my podcast at tspc.co. And if you do subscribe to the channel... Click the little bell there so that you get an email whenever I have a new video.